Yeah, it's been just over 22 months now since, or just months now since 22 people were murdered inside an El Paso Walmart. The suspected mass shooter was arraigned just a couple of hours ago. Ken Molestina joining us with the update this afternoon. Ken? Yeah, Doug, uh, Patrick Crucius this afternoon, he pleaded not guilty to the charges that were brought against him. For the first time since the August 3rd shooting, Patrick Crucius was finally seen in a public setting as he walked into an El Paso courtroom. He wore a white shirt and a dark colored suit jacket as he went before the judge to be arraigned on a charge of capital murder of multiple persons. To the indictment, sir, you wish to enter a plea of guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The court has entered a plea of not guilty on your behalf. Crucius waived having the indictment read to him, and the arraignment only lasted a couple of minutes. Fort Worth criminal defense attorney Benson Varghese has been following the case closely and says since prosecutors are seeking the death penalty, Crucius is not allowed to plead guilty. Instead, a trial will need to take place. At the state level, will be a lengthy process because preparing for a death penalty case is a significant undertaking for both sides. He says the defense team will more than likely now try and build an insanity defense. What led him to do this? And more importantly, when he did it, did he know the difference between right and wrong? Investigators say Crucius cooperated with their questioning and told them he drove to El Paso from Allen because he wanted to kill Mexicans. Surveillance images of him walking into the Walmart wearing a black shirt and khakis while armed were seen across the globe. The attorney is in an unenviable position defending his client because the client has already essentially told the world what he did and why he did it. Well, after today's arraignment, the family of Patrick Crucius released a statement saying, in part, quote, we continue to pray for the victims and everyone involved, including all those now tasked with their roles in the process of our judicial system. Crucius' next court date is now scheduled for November 7th.